Researchers digging in a 9,000-year-old burial site in Peru found stone projectile points near a woman's skeleton and concluded that women hunted animals 9,000 years ago. According to a research article by California-based researchers, the find indicates that modern arguments around gender roles should be updated. Among the projectile points, the diggers also found stone tools associated with carcass processing, a task that has traditionally been associated with female roles in ancient societies. We believe that these findings are particularly timely in light of contemporary conversations surrounding gendered labor practices and inequality, said paper author and anthropologist Randy Haas of the University of California, Davis. It is assumed that if the woman was indeed a hunter, she must have had the muscular build and the mental attitude required to drive sharpened pieces of stone through large animals and then cut their throats with a sharpened stone. The ancient remains of two Mongolian women found in elite graves show that the ladies were no princesses. On the contrary, they appear to have been warriors. The remains show that these women rode on horseback and practiced archery. In fact, researchers participating in the study believe these warriors lived around the same time the Ballad of Mulan, yes, THE Mulan, was written. This is what we know. Archaeologists from California State University, Los Angeles told Live Science that they found the remains of two women warriors while excavating a cemetery at the Aragon Gosgore archaeological site in Oricon, Mongolia. Specialists examined remains found in 29 burial sites. These include human remains from 16 men, 10 women, and three unidentified individuals. Researchers were looking for evidence of the effects of horseback riding, archery, and trauma on the body. Christine Lee from California State University, Los Angeles, lead researcher on the yet-to-be-published study, said the remains of the two warriors showed signs that both practiced horseback riding and archery, just like the remains of the men and male adolescents. The two women are believed to have been 20 and 50 years old and lived during the Xianbei period, which lasted from 147 to 552 AD. This period was marked by political turmoil. Lee and fellow researcher Jaira Gonzalez said it is likely they practiced archery and horseback riding because they may have been needed to fight alongside the men. However, it seems that the two ladies might not have really gone to war. These remains were found in elite graves, and members of the elite may have not fought in battles, Lee said. That doesn't take away from the fact that, in Lee's own words, they were probably pretty badass. An amazing trove of fossilized footprints in America's New Mexico state tells the harrowing story of a woman and a two-year-old child's dangerous journey around 13,000 years ago. This according to a study published in Quaternary Science Reviews. Scientists who analyzed the footprints can see that the woman was carrying the child most of the way and that she was walking very fast and very straight in muddy sludge. She later returned the same way, this time without the child. After studying the 1.5-kilometer-long track of fossils, the researchers concluded that the woman must have been walking fast because of the many dangerous animals that frequented the area, including saber-toothed cats, dire wolves, and mammoths. In fact, a remarkable set of footprints shows that a group of mammoths and a giant sloth stepped into her tracks in the period between her first and second trip. Amazingly, she then stepped into the tracks of these extinct animals on her way back. The mammoths appear to have been oblivious to her track as they just strode over it, but the giant sloth's reactions amazed scientists. The study says the sloth stopped over the human's track and then reared on its hind legs. In the words of the study, as the animal approached the trackway, it appears to have reared up on its hind legs to catch the scent, pausing by turning and trampling the human tracks before dropping to all fours and making off. It was aware of the danger. Laser detection technology may crack the mystery behind this ancient Mayan road in the jungle. Archaeologists have used laser scanning to chart an ancient 100-kilometer-long Mayan highway built 13 centuries ago. They say Koba, a powerful city-state, may have built the road to invade its neighbor, Yaksuna. The study was published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The University of Miami said in a news release that the study used light detection and ranging technology lasers to penetrate thick jungle vegetation and reveal the ruins beneath. The LiDAR survey mapped out the road and uncovered 8,000 structures on its path. The structures are of varying sizes and their combined volume could fill 2,900 Olympic swimming pools. 
University professor Tracy Ardren is cited as saying the road did not run straight as supposed. Instead, Koba's warrior Queen Kawila Hao may have built the winding road to control settlements across the Yucatan Peninsula and to attack Yaksuna. Arden, who is a co-author, says the Mayan roads were an engineering marvel. Giant limestone boulders were utilized to fill uneven ground. Then, white plaster was applied to make the road surface. This substance is similar to Roman concrete and gave the road its name, Sakbe, which comes from the Mayan word, white way. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.